Hello and welcome to this SEH screencast. In this screencast, I'd like to introduce you to UTN Manager's Action Wizard. With the Action Wizard, it takes you just a few clicks to create a number of sequential actions for individual USB devices. These are then easily executed using a desktop shortcut. As you can see, I've already started the UTN Manager, and I've added a MyUTN 150 USB device server to my device list. Here, we can see the attached USB devices. To create an action for one of these devices, I simply click on the device and choose Create UTN Action. This launches the Action Wizard. On the first page, we have several options to choose from, depending on the type of action that we want to create. In this example, I'll begin with the first option. We use this to create an action for activating and deactivating the chosen device. In the next step, we will enter the names for both desktop shortcuts which the wizard will create. It will automatically use the default name of the USB device, but we can easily change this. With one click on Next, we're already finished. Here we get a summary of the action that we created, and all we need to do is click on Save and Finish to save our work. Now we can see the shortcuts created by the action wizard on the desktop, and we can use them to execute our actions. The advantage of these actions is that they run even if the UTN manager has not been started. This is because the devices are controlled by the UTN manager service that's running in the background. To see the actions working, I'll close the UTN manager and open Windows Explorer. Here you can see the USB stick actually being connected to the computer. If I now click on the shortcut for activating the USB stick, you'll see in Explorer that the USB stick will be connected to the system as usual. When I no longer need the USB stick, I simply click on the second shortcut and it will be disconnected from the system. So, now you're acquainted with the first two actions. Now we'll go back to the UTN Manager and take a look at the next action. For this example, I'll choose the scanner and open the action wizard again. Here, we choose the second option to create an action which first connects a USB device and then, in a second step, starts a defined application. Also, as soon as this application is closed, the USB device will also be automatically disconnected. As a first step, we have to choose the application which we'd like to start after the scanner has been connected. As an example, I choose the scan program. Using the browse button, I open a window so I can navigate to the scan program. You can see here there's a checkbox which I can use to define that the scanner will be disconnected after the scan application has been closed. In the next step, I can give a name to the shortcut which is about to be created. In the final step, as before, we get a summary of the new action. With a click on Save and Finish, the shortcut will be placed on the desktop. So let's give it a test. As you can see, the scanner will be activated, and shortly thereafter the scan program is started. I'll quickly run a preview scan so you can see that the scan program is really working. Now, when I close the application, you can see that the scanner is also immediately deactivated. This makes it accessible to other users. So now we've come to the end of this screencast. In another one, I'll show you the third option of creating a user-defined action in expert mode. As you saw, the Action Wizard is ideal for the creation of certain automatic actions. Users no longer have to use the UTM Manager's interface to manage connections. Instead, they simply use a desktop shortcut. If you have any questions or comments regarding this topic, please write us an email or give us a call.